Wizard Gold Videos by David Allen. Hello, this is Dave Allen from Mactronic Questions, and let's have a look at a few of the new things in Calendar, which is in Mountain Lion. So, a few things that were lost before have been brought back again. So, for instance, if you want to have a look at the calendars over on the left hand side here, these mini calendars that were taken away in the last version, they're back again, and you can move this upwards and see more of them if you want to. Okay, so another thing that's uh, quite handy with this new version of Calendar as it is now called in Mountain Lion, is that you can change the time zones. So if you want to have a look at your meetings or events in a different time zone, say if you want to look at it in Pacific time, maybe there's a online webinar that you want to look at and you want to see what it's like for other people, well, that presenting with iPad, it starts at 12 midday when it's in Pacific time. Another thing that you might want to look at is to go to your preferences and go to alerts and per account you can change the type of events that are alerted in the notification center. So you've got events, you can have a uh, so time of event, it gives you an alert for that event. Uh, maybe more useful if it's 15 minutes before or something like that. So you've got a new date picker with this here. So for instance if you need to change the date just uh, click on edit. Then you can tap on that there and it gets this date picker here. So it's very easy to uh, change the date of the events like that. It's quite handy. Obviously you can do all the other types of editing of that event that you wanted there as well. Let's click on Done there. And let's click on Plus for this one for the moment. Now that's quite interesting because with this one here, it looks like it's got the same sort of natural language way to put in the events as you have in Fantastical. So if I want to use the dictation thing to put this in there so let's press that tomorrow at 9 p.m. meet my friend click on that so tomorrow is the 7th and it's put in the proper date for me it's got the meet my friend in there and it's all organized the only thing that you might want to do after that is to go in there and maybe change the times so maybe you've got to change it at, well actually I did say 9pm didn't I, so maybe it's changed and it's going to be 8pm instead, so change that to that. Or maybe go down there to 5pm in the afternoon. So it wasn't that easy. So what you had to do in Fantastic Help before, by clicking up here, so meet my friend tomorrow, 9pm. So that's done the same sort of thing, but in Fantastic Elf. Fantastic Elf is a very nice little application, I must say, I quite like it. And click on Enter, and there you go, it's in our calendar straight away. So you can still use Fantastic Elf with this, but you can do some of the functionality that was in Fantastic Elf in the Calendars app, so there you go. Now another new thing that's handy with Calendars is the fact that you've got some better search facilities. So if I type in the iPad, uh, get event contains iPad, the title is arrival of new iPad or presenting with iPad or notes that are containing iPad. So there you go, you get this little thing up on the right hand side here with all your details about iPad. Let's just uh, do that again and event contains iPad. So there you go, you've got all the different events there that have the word iPad in it and it's over on the right hand side. So that's a nice little extra search facility that you get with Canada in Mountain Lion. I think that the way that calendar looks in day view, week view, month view, or even year view, is pretty much similar as it was before. And if we look at this now, I can click on that there, and it gives me all the details of what's happening on that day, and a nice little pop-up, that's quite good. There's a few little things in calendars, which is a nice little application now, I like it. Some people don't like it that you get this sort of leather effect at the top, and this uh, pretend things that have been paper ripped off at the top, but I don't mind that, what the hell. Okay, bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon. Dave Allen from Mac 20 Questions. Mm -hmm.